So almost two years since its release, I finally took the plunge and upgraded my system to Windows 11. <laughs> nice. So I was curious to see if upgrading to Windows 11 was going to be more efficient, going to give me better performance, worse performance, about the same. So I decided to run a couple of tests on some gaming benchmarks, system stability benchmarks, and then video rendering just to see if it made it a bit quicker. And I was actually surprised by some of the results. Let's just go over the system that I am running on, the Ryzen 9 950X that has been overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz on all cores. We have a RTX 3090, 32 gigs of Corsair LPX DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. Uh, CL14. The entire operating system is on my Adata SX8200 NVMe SSD. Now, even with all those specs, for some reason, Windows 10 was like, yeah, your system does not meet the minimum requirements um, to upgrade to Windows 11. I guess it's not powerful enough, but obviously it's only because I had to go into the BIOS and turn on uh, AMD's TPM. So I wanted to test a couple of games. First off, I wanted one that was GPU intensive, so I went with Red Dead Redemption 2 because it has a built-in benchmark. Now, interesting results for Red Dead Redemption 2 because when I was recording with OBS, my average FPS on Windows 10 was 65, whereas my average FPS on Windows 11 while recording was about 75, 77. Then without recording on Windows 10, I was getting about 95 and on Windows 11, I was getting about 107. So a huge performance gain by recording my gameplay on OBS and not recording my gameplay. So that's something if you're thinking about like streaming and stuff that Red Dead might get affected by OBS, but it could have just been um, I don't know, because I was using display capture instead of game capture because it wasn't capturing the game for some reason. But anywhere between a 9 and 15% increase in FPS on Red Dead Redemption 2, which is pretty big when you're talking about a game that's graphically intensive like that. 2560 by 1440 resolution, all the settings maxed out, either way performing really well on both operating systems. Now moving on to a couple of CPU intensive games, so I did CSGO was the first one, and on Windows 10 I was averaging around 350 to 375 FPS, and then on Windows 11 I was actually getting to 380 to 398, so obviously you're getting a bit of a performance boost, about 8%, but nothing major because a game like uh, CSGO, your FPS is already super high that unless you're getting a 360 or 540 hertz monitor you're not really going to see the benefit now same thing with valorant actually this one was the most surprising of all because valorant on windows 10 i was getting about 385 to 400 fps averaging game again 2560 1440 ultra max high settings on everything full screen and on windows 11 it jumped to about 550 plus so we're looking at over a 40 percent fps increase now obviously at 385 plus, you're not really gonna see a major difference in game unless you're a pure esports and you need those 500 plus FPS for your monitor. Now Valorant also is something that's a bit tricky with Valorant for some reason. I had to go and turn on so many things in the BIOS. So you have to make sure that secure boot is on. You have to make sure that your TPM is on, which I already had for Windows 11, but secure boot for some reason wasn't on. And I'm not sure if I had it on in Windows 10 and it was just working without it, but in Windows 11, it made me go turn on secure boot. Now, I also don't know if by upgrading to Windows 11, it turned off secure boot. Anyways, it was a weird couple of BIOS tests that I had to do for Valorant, uh, but got it working in the end and those were my numbers. But in Cinebench on Windows 10, I was getting 28,445 and on Windows 11, on average, I ran like three tests for each one and this was the average number. So again, Windows 10, 28,445 and Windows 11, 28,797. So about a 1% increase, but I still saw higher numbers over the three runs on Windows 11 than I did on Windows 10, so it might just be that it was a bit better optimized for it. Now, when it came to 3D Mark Time Spy, the results were kind of interesting because overall my numbers went up. So in Windows 10, I was getting about 17,835, and on Windows 11, I was getting 17,982, so about a 1% increase. But what was funny is that my graphics score went up in Windows 11, but my CPU score went down in Windows 11. Again, not a significant amount but those were consistently the numbers that I was getting was lower on the CPU score and higher on the graphics score in Windows 11. But overall, the total number was higher on Windows 11, so about a 1% performance boost for that. Finally, moving on to the last test that I did was rendering a video in DaVinci Resolve. Now, I took the same video, the last video that I had posted on the Samsung Frame TV, which is about an 8-minute 1080p 60fps video, and I rendered it again twice to the same SSD, once on Windows 10 and once on Windows 11. On Windows 10, it took 4 minutes and 55 seconds, whereas on Windows 11, it took 4 minutes and 33 seconds, which is a uh, performance boost of 7%, 22 seconds, which makes a difference, happy with that. Anything that's gonna save me a bit of time here and there is always gonna be a win. So, so far I'm happy that I made the decision to upgrade. I know at the beginning Windows 11 had some issues, but now a year and what, 10 months in, I figured most of them are gonna be taken care of. 
and I didn't see any performance loss on really any real world application that I using my system for. So that'll do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe. That would be really appreciated and I will catch you guys next time.